there. Live within the ring is Victor Galindez. The fight delayed a couple of minutes because of an unusual incident that has already occurred regarding Galindez. It seems that his handlers put in his eyebrows, on his eyebrows, from a little brown bottle, a liquid called New Skin. That was the label on it. It turned out to be a plastic solution that was designed to protect those eyes which cut so readily. Meantime, when apprised of the situation, the officials forced the handlers to comb that solution out of the eyebrows. Thus the delay in Galindez getting into the ring. But he is superbly trained for this fight, as he said. And so is Rossman, though Rossman did not look as good in his sparring sessions, in point of fact, as Galindez did. Both weighed in at 174 and an eighth pounds. Rossman with a big age in years. He's 22, Galindez is 30. We'll get to the rules and the fight itself when we come back to the Superdome in a moment. Coming to the tail of the tape. Okay. Once again, back with the live scene, the public address announcer introducing Victor Galindez. You see the tail of the tape. The big edge in age that Rossman enjoys. Galindez will be 31 in November. But the edge in upper body strength clearly goes to Victor Galindez, and he will try to use that in mauling his opponent on the inside. An old tactic of his and an old tactic of Carlos Monzon, his fellow countryman, the former great middleweight champion. Mike Rossman, a devastating puncher with either hand. And the rules today, the 10-point must system in scoring. Scoring done by two judges and the referee. The three knockdown rule, in effect, despite the fact that it's a championship fight, a new rule recently adopted by the WBA. The mandatory eight count, of course. No standing eight count unless the fighter is helpless on the ropes. No saving by the bell. The ring is a good size ring, 20 feet. But that doesn't really matter here. In fact, it's slightly larger than 20 feet. I faced it off because neither of these men will be using the ring. At least nothing in their history indicates that they would. The bell now for round one, the referee Stanley Christodoulou of South Africa, a veteran who refereed the Lindes' fight against Richie Cates in Johannesburg in May of 76. Lindes usually a slow starter. Let's see if he changes this time. He tries to go to the belly. He is a punishing puncher. His left hook can be tremendous. First round action. The judges, Waldemar Schmidt of Puerto Rico, Jesus Celi of Venezuela. So the officials should be the Galindas is like it. Chris Didulu, for instance, in the Cates bout, gave Galindez a long delay after Cates had butted him savagely in the third round. And Galindez came on to win by a knockout in the 15th. A quick left sharp jab. Rossman's jab stings. It has strength behind it. It is not a little flick. A jab up in the area of the eyes, where Rossman will concentrate. First round action, the beginning of things, a minute 45 left. Center ring. 
tochas. Rossman got that left in there. Downing Galindez is left. You saw Rossman's right glove pick off Galindez's is left. Again, Rossman picks it off. Counting down now toward the end of round one. A cautious round. The tin face of young Mike Rossman. Your concentration. Melinda, squat, stocking, powerhouse body. End of the round coming up. got to warn them. We've got to alert them. Where is where is the alert? Sean. All right. Okay. <laughs> Back live. Round two. The bell having just sounded. The first round cautious. These two men with too much respect for one another to gamble in the early going, not in the wake of their brawl of last September 15th. But in fairness, Mike Rossman getting the left in occasionally as he did just that. And if the round was to go to anybody and not be called even, it would seem to me it would have gone to Mike Rossman. This second round action. Good right in there by Galindez on the inside. Rossman's fought 23 times. 136, 23 by Chaos. Lost four, drawn three times. Galindez. Had ten successful title defenses before he lost to Rossman. One of the great of recent light heavyweights. Galindez down to the left. Has been to the well 67 times, 154 with 33 KOs, lost seven, drew four, two no decision. So the nuts and bolts of the contest, all now before you. Round two. I'd like to alert our stations along the line. At the end of this round, we'll be providing a station break. Actually landed on Columbus's right arm. Trossman getting the left in, up in the eye area, which is what he wants to do. Melendez. Melendez there, going to the belly. Rossman with a good right to the head. But that's what Galindez really figures on doing in this fight. Just giving it to Rossman in the stomach, wearing him down. Is a tremendous body puncher. On the end fighting there, Rossman the better of it with a sharp right that landed. These two men are hitters, aren't they? See Victor going down to the mid -range. There can be no question that Galindez is in far better condition for this fight than he was last September. As we're coming closer to the end of round two. Rossman fighting with purpose. Knowing his fight plan. We'll return with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this from our local stations.
Just come out for the start of round three. Personal, subjective scoring. I scored the second round even. Belinda started connecting to the belly. That's what Rossman has to watch out for. Rossman still getting the left in to the face, but no touch yet on Belinda. round action. You can read the respect these men have. Fighters, the WBA light heavyweight championship at stake. The Linda's after it. No light heavyweight has ever recaptured a crown. For a long time, the heavyweights had that history. Patterson changed that. Ali changed it twice. <laughs> Getting the left in. Caution from Christodoulou. Stanley Christodoulou, the referee of South Africa, telling Mike Rossman to get those blows up. In fact, there were two that were low, or at least looked low. Mike with a good quick combination. Shot direct punches. Muscle, Marlon. Galindez gets Rossman against the ropes. Watch his shoulders. Galindez, after a right lead, left himself open. That's the danger of a right lead. And Rossman was quick with the left and then the right. The left into the face again. Again, third round action. with the left. Counting down to the end of round three, the lower right-hand corner evidence is that. Nobody has really broken through yet. Punish the other man. you between rounds this time. Take a gander again at some of the action in the round. There's the bell for round three. There is Galindez in his corner being worked over. Now, let's look at it. You saw that quick combination that I referred to, the left and the right. But, Galindez not connecting with that left. That left a little short. Now the right into the kidneys, that hurts, and then the left caught Rossman, and Galindez had Rossman where he wanted him, but Rossman, away from the ropes, tied him up. As we said again, Earl, Victor Galindez, the face of a fighter, forget the round girl. Quite a record he compiled until Rossman tagged him, wasn't he? And in Galindez's corner, Tito Lecturi, Roberto Galindez, Oscar Rodriguez. In Rossman's corner, Slim Robinson, his trainer, Eddie Aliano, his cut man, and his brother Andy Rossman. The bell now. Round four action begins. A long right that connected after a left lead had connected. Galindez dropped his gloves and backed off for just a second. Somehow he seems startled by the length of that right. Stanley Christodoulo, Republic of South Africa, the referee. 16 years he's been a referee. Ross 
Cashman straight up. Straight ahead. The left is principal instrument. Set up the right. There, you saw that counter punching right by Rossman. Galindez trying to get inside, and Galindez's head snapped back by that Rossman right. Reach edge with Mike Ross. Melendez wants to get inside and use that body strength of his. He's the man wanting to leave himself open. Too much respect for the other. to that left. Meanwhile, Galindez's lefts are not quite reaching the opponent. Or if they do, they are picked off in the main. Wild right. He was not staggered by a blow. The crowd misread it. He was off balance. Galindez missed. Rossman has Galindez directly above us. And Galindez got in a left to Rossman and stumbled. Appearing wild in his movements, but still effective because of his body strength. Got to always be careful with that player. Good to Lindez left, and another left. Now they're beginning to mix it up. Look at Lindez as Rossman was trying to tie him up. Punching to the kidneys. And they hurt. Take, take down. Turn on a fighter. Wear him down. round action and we're not that far away from the end of the round. Lindez again with the right into the midst. On the side and the kidney, really. Coming to the end of round four. A tough round, a good left and a right, a right up and got hurt Rossman into the middle of the turning run. What an ending to the round.
was butted using the head. Sure. Melendez has always done that. The head, the shoulders, the arms, the elbows, everything. This is the fifth round. We almost have a melee here at the end of the fourth. to Galindez easily. Mike said he thought it would. 
He also said he was going to do more body punching in this fight, but that has not been in evidence. This is the sixth round, and we are approaching the end of it. Now the end of the round at hand. second round was even, Rossman won two. Three rounds to two, one even is the way I've scored it to win this. One? Yeah, they're, they're rubbing Galindez's left arm. Sweeping left is getting in there. <laughs> Seventh round, live for Superdome, New Orleans, Louisiana. Now becoming a fine, exciting bout. Melendez, in my book, the winner of the last three rounds. Between rounds, they were rubbing down Galindez's left arm, and he was shaking it vigorously. He has been using it frequently and effectively. A sweeping left to sting Mike Rossman. Mike Rossman with a good, quick uppercut. Stanley Christodoulou is the third man in the ring. 16 years a referee from South Africa. <laughs> Saw the right of Galindez and then the left. Mike Rossman at the moment, just at the moment, doesn't seem to have the spark. Could change at any time. Couple of quick, effective blows. Seventh round action. Austin's <laughs> face into Galindez's shoulder, which in itself is dangerous. Galindez. Punching away on the inside, trying to get to the midriff. Lindez, a much more difficult target. There, Rossman's fans encouraged by two quick lefts. See Galindez hold him with the left hand and maul him with the right. This is the way he becomes so effective when the referee does not interfere. Then with the weight of his body against the opponent, he's going to be worn down in that lead left of Galindez. Stung Rossman again. And he is beating Rossman to the punch. And he is punching more effectively at this moment, and Rossman is trying to cover. And Galindez has him in the opposite corner. That's when he uses that body strength. And he gets the right in there. Tries to get a right uppercut. Then goes down to the belly with the right and the left. And the right again. And the punches go to the kidneys. Rossman trying to cover. Rossman holding on. Galindez fighting Victor Galindez's fight as we approach the end of the seventh round. Shaw winning this fight. Well, he just butted him as the round ended. Rossman butted Galindez. 
some fight, isn't it, Chet? Hmm? Yeah, he's going to win. He's the one who's tired. He's lost his spark. for round eight, live at the Superdome in New Orleans. It's been a tremendous fight. Just before the last round ended, what seemed to me to be a Rossman butt over Galindez's right eye opened a gash. It's been closed, but that's the kind of thing we'll have to watch for as this fight gets down to its waning stages. Rossman's corner, he appeared tired, a bit discouraged, but was being enormously encouraged, as would be expected, by his handlers. The eighth round. Lindez, when he's right, a difficult target. Those punches come from all over. Rossman started well enough, in my book, winning the first and third rounds with the second round even. After that, it seems to me, Galindez has taken over the fight. Might getting in a couple of lefts. Now Mike begins to score using his left more effectively in this round and then the right in combination. Thanking left by Melendez. If there's fatigue showing in either fighter, in this, the eighth round, it seems to me to be in Rossman, yet blood is now coming out of Galindez's mouth. Remember, Rossman is eight years younger than Victor. Good left by Ross. And a good right by Galindez, and Rossman holds on. The right lead, even being used now by Galindez, and with perhaps increasing effectiveness. Maybe that fight Galindez had in Argentina after the cancellation, again Galindez scoring, helped him a great deal. That's what he said in our interview to his interpreter. Round, the end of round eight, come off. again Galindez scoring. officials won't be robbing Rossman. Look at him, he's tired. It's a pity we can't show him in the corner. Yeah. He really looks tired. He may get knocked out. excited over this fight and every reason to be. It started cautiously, but from the third round on, it's been steady, steady, steady fighting and steady, steady, steady movement by Victor Galindez with his back now, Georgia. He began to take control of this fight as I see it in the fourth round. 
has thrown bunches from all over. The right lead has scored effectively. A sweeping left has stung Rossman. At the end of the fourth round, Rossman seemed to genuinely hurt. Then fisticuffs after the round involving Victor Galindez and Mike's kid brother, Andy. Rossman's going to come on. Now's the time to start doing it. Fight is broken by Krista Dulu, the referee. Most notably, Mike has not been able to cut open Galindez's eyes, his most susceptible area. Good right by Rossman, and then a good left by Galindez. And a good right again by Galindez. That right getting in there now, more and more. Galindez providing a difficult target. Look at that long sweeping left, and Galindez right after him. Tigerish, as I said, pinning Rossman against the ropes. Galindez now fighting exactly the way he wants to fight. Rossman covering and not fighting back effectively. If events permit at the end of this round, let me alert our stations, there'll be a station break. If events permit. But with the action going this way, you can't tell. Saw that left of Galindez's. And what a difficult target Galindez is. He wraps himself up. The head is kept low. He can bob and weave. He moves those shoulders. And out of all of that harass comes a right like that. As I said, he punches from everywhere. Stunning performance by the veteran. here is the number of blows being thrown by Galindez vis-a-vis -vis the number being thrown by Rossman. Rossman is covering. He is the defender. We'll return to four of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this from our local station.
the chagrin written all over the lad's face. A fine young man, and it is the right hand, and they are feeling the upper part of it above the knuckles, and that's obviously where the break took place. We will try to talk to Mike to find out how and when it happened, and certainly we want to talk to the again light heavyweight champion of the world. Now, let's look at the end of the last round. Let's see if we can detect anything. The left connected. That was the right he threw that connected. And then he fell forward. And it may have happened right then. So difficult to judge. But in any event, we've shown you the pictures at the end of the round. And when Mike came back, he was the picture of chagrin. As for Galindez, Astride the shoulders of his fellow countrymen, he can now go back to Argentina, and maybe he will probably be hoping they will say, yes, you are a great champion. You are of the cut of Carlos Monzo. The ice pack already on Mike Rossman's right hand. And Mike, a head foul. Here is the announcement. being interviewed he does the not speak winner, English of course by technical knockout in the tenth round so they call it the tenth world round because Rossman could not right come out capital of the world Victor Galindez the, the unofficial announcement that Galindez has won it now let's get Victor down here if we possibly can Rather than start trying to deal with Alberto Oliva, Galindez's interpreter, let's try and get Mike down. His father is above him. Michael. Let's see if we can get up to Mike. Don't want to bother him in the wake of the way he must feel, and yet we will try to get an explanation. All right, we're getting up now to the ring apron to talk to Mike Ross. Mike, first of all, we're terribly sorry, of course. And secondly, when did the break to the hand occur? I'm not sure. Uh, sixth, seventh round. I think I hit him on top of the head with a right hand, man. And uh, that's when I started to feel a little throb. And I hit him another right hand down below. And uh, that's when I felt everything, man. He told me he couldn't throw it after the uh, sixth round. He wasn't able to throw the right I hand. I told him, I said, uh, uh, the side usually left, left gap. Well, in the last punch of the eighth round, which we just showed, we did see you throw a right, but then it seemed to us, and it's so hard to tell, you're in apparent pain. They're not landing, and it did hurt, so uh, I was just trying to land it, you know, uh, just in case it might, it might land, maybe take him out, you know, uh, take the chance with the pain, but uh, it, it was getting unbearable. In you fairness know. to Galindez, he fought a much superior fight to the last time. He, oh. he fought... His kind of fight. Oh, no doubt about it. He didn't fight his kind of fight. You know, I kept in the center of the ring. Uh, I, I pressed the fight more, a little more than he did. He just uh, taking these wild shots at me. And uh, like I say, if you can't, it's, it's tough to fight with one hand. Okay, now what happened after the fourth round when your brother was out there fighting well, with Vic? Well, the, the bell had rung and uh, he just kept punching. So uh, my brother ran out there and, uh, you know, uh, then he started punching him. I went after him and them guys came in and, uh, you know, he's just trying to hit me after the bell. He couldn't, he, up to then, he couldn't hit me with a real good shot. All right, what happens now in your mind after this defeat? Well, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, I lost uh, to a real good fighter. I was champion, and uh, I went to this hand heels. I've been having trouble with it for like the last two or three years, and uh, I went to it heels and uh, just go right back to the drawing board. I'm on, I'll be 23, and I'll, I'll be there again, man. This is your dad. What, it was, what was it you said, sir? We'll be back on top again. Well, good luck to you both. Certainly, let's take that easy on that hand. Certainly, you lost to a great fighter. Oh, I no must say that. No doubt about it. <laughs> take care, Mike. All right, that's the scene here. Uh, talk with Mike Rossman, and then we'll be talking through his interpreter with Victor Galindez. We'll be back in just one moment.
Okay. Oh, oh, right hand. Oh, oh, right in front. Right. Hey, 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 take it easy. Alberto, come here. We're going in 10 seconds. Victor. Okay, Alberto Oliva to my right. Victor Galindez, again the champion to my left. Now, first question, Alberto. When did Victor feel he took control of the fight? ¿Cuándo te diste cuenta que tomaste control de la pelea? En todo momento, porque yo estaba muy bien entrenado, gracias al señor Juan Carlos de Ture, que me ha apoderado de mi malla, así que date cuenta, hicimos las cosas como él decía en el gimnasio y hemos cuidado como te tengo donde por ti. He says that he knew that he was uh, making it in the fight from the very beginning at every moment, no doubt about it. He was very well trained and very well uh, supported by his manager. Now, what was your reaction when Mike's brother, Andrew, came out after the fourth round? ¿Cuál fue tu reacción cuando Andrew entró al ring? ¿Qué pasó ahí? Fue un sinvergüenza porque me estaba molestando toda la pelea, golpe bajos, incluso una cabeza tremenda que me partió la, la cabeza arriba. He says that he was, uh, uh, Mike was uh, punching him in the low section. Como no me podía pegar en la cara, me pegó en cualquier lado. That he, as he couldn't uh, 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 punch him in the, no, in the nose and in the face, he punched him in the, in the, uh, in the low zone. No, no. Did he notice, Alberto, at any time, a loss of power in Mike Rossman's right hand? ¿Notaste en algún momento una pérdida de poder en la mano derecha de Rossman? Bueno, porque no sentí, no sé, porque cuando la sacaba no la sentía ni me pegaba tampoco. He says that he didn't feel that uh, Rossman had any power in his uh, right hand at all. Throughout the fight. En toda la pelea pasó eso, no, no, no sé, tenía fuerza. No Rosman. sé, porque yo estaba muy fuerte y no sentía las manos de él. He was he never said, hurt. That's right, no, never. Never hurt. Finally, what does he see now? What does he plan for his next fight? He says that he prefers that Tito speaks about that. Does he feel that now that his fellow countrymen will give him what he thinks is his due because they haven't in the past? Pensás que ahora los argentinos te van a retribuir esta corona, este primer sí. la corona de la Argentina. Por supuesto que sí, porque lo, todos los argentinos saben positivamente que a mí Roma en condición no me puede ganar nunca. He says that uh, he, he's very proud of taking the crown back to Argentina, and he says that uh, in this shape, Rosman could never have beaten him. All right. Now, final question. Ask Tito Lecturi. What are his plans for Victor's next fight? Tito, ¿cuáles son tus planes para...? 20 días de descanso y volver al gimnasio y después de tratar con la televisión para la misma defensa. He says uh, he's going to take 20 days off and then go back immediately to the gym and then rethink uh, his strategy again. Okay, thank you both very much thank and you. congratulations. Okay, we're on the ring apron, live from the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana, where there has been an exciting light heavyweight championship fight, and Victor Galindez has become the first light heavyweight ever to regain the championship. This the WBA version. In the meantime, right, Mike Rossman could not come out for the 10th round he says he felt he broke his right hand somewhere around the sixth. So that's the story, Giffer. And now we're going to turn it back to you in our studios in New York. So long.